All right, so here's the deal. We're going to, you know, a little story time. Basically, this is a 1993 Hoffman Big Daddy USA made bike. This is unrestored. This is uncleaned. Uh, I wanted to kind of shoot a video of it, just kind of showing exactly how I got the bike. Now, if you recall about uh, a couple of days ago, I got this bike, but on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace was a pile of bikes, right? Two completes and five frames. And we're talking early S&M homes, Murray Chainstay stuff, uh, early dirt bikes. Most bikes had red line, three-piece single pinch cranks on them. Everything was period correct, like it was pulled from a barn from the mid-90s. I mean, even though that these are early, early 90s bikes, mid-90s bikes, but basically pulled from like a barn. The guy, obviously the stuff was sold so fast on Facebook Marketplace, I was within two minutes. I think I was the 18th saved person on those. So I was probably a couple minutes too late. But I hit him up anyways. I said, hey, do you have them? No response. I said, you know, I'm, I really want one of those frames. Isn't that? No response. This is the first time I kind of kept bugging him. And he finally was like, hey, you know, these things, I'm getting hit up all over the place. The bikes are all gone. And he's like, but how much is like the big daddy worth? This one. I was like, I don't know. I mean, to the right person, probably over a thousand bucks. Well, anyways, we worked out a deal. Somehow he still had this bike. And if you're the one that ended up getting all the early S&M bikes and the early GT frames and the red line cranks and the. The GT mags and all the other stuff. Hey, man, good for you. But I guess he still had this. He said he pulled it out of the ad or I don't I, honestly, I don't really understand. So he is a trash removal service company. And he was at a Gainesville, Virginia, which is gorgeous down there. I do a lot of of the, you know, vintage European cars I get down there and Land Rover, Range Rover stuff. So actually, it's right down the street from uh, where this abandoned Porsche 928 is. But anywho. He ended up with all this stuff. He had no idea what it was. And he's like, oh, my God, my phone went crazy. I was like, yeah, obviously, you know, that's what happens. But he said he cleared out a lady's garage out of Springfield, Virginia. And these were her son's bikes. He said, unfortunately, the majority of the bike frames he had, he took directly to the dump, I assume, about a week ago. So I don't know if you're in the Springfield, Virginia area, if you remember this bike, but it looks professionally built. And I'm going to show you this is unrestored. I haven't touched it. This is exactly how I got it uh, within this video. Obviously, it'll all be cleaned up, but I'm going to just show you kind of the details of it. You know, it's got these 19 millimeter, I, you know, I think they're the 48 spline profile GT three piece cranks. You can see the pro neck. 44 chain ring there, Peregrine 48 spoke rim. And since this was kind of like a flatland bike, I mean, it, it was a flatland bike. If you see down in here, I don't know if you can see it, the coaster brake tab. Now, what's interesting is this seat is all banged up. The seat post, uh, even though it might even be a little bent, but it's all scratched up. This is old. But everything else looks brand new. I mean, look at the GT tires. And they're soft. Because these were in a garage. But the frame, we'll wipe that down in a second. The frame look like, looks like it's never been ridden. You can see even just by the, the chain gear, this has never been pedaled. And if it has, very lightly. Even the chain, the dropouts. We're going to wipe it down here in a minute. The DK stem... We just got one of these off of a uh, early S&M dirt bike. Got about two weeks ago, and that one was out of McLean, I believe, McLean, Virginia. Die Comp, Tech 77, Amy Grips. These are cool. These Ron Wilkerson bars. Those are really neat. ACS Boas. I used to have these on a Haro Sport back in the day. More of the bike. Suzy high flange sealed hubs. It looks like an array of 7X rim. So, and same thing with this tire. You see this tire? Bam. And then the logo. All right. 
right, now let's just see how dusty this thing is. This one will be pretty satisfying to clean up and chrome polish. Yeah, I think she's gonna clean up pretty good. Dropouts. That s and I just got, I don't think that was a 93 dirt bike or the 94, actually it's on the YouTube channel. But that one was really dirty. We cleaned it up nicely. This bike looks like it's never been ridden. Anyways, I just figured I would share. Um, there's not a lot of uh, 90s BMX content out there right now on YouTube. This stuff is probably pretty boring to watch or hear me talk, ramble on about some sort of deal I didn't really get. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm not that great at these videos, but I'll try to uh, upload the photos of the ad because I thought that was cool. One little story, you know, it, it went on BMX Museum, two different groups on Facebook, um, just on Facebook. I think, I think the person that got the bikes are shipping them directly to the UK. Like I said, I don't know why they passed on this one. Maybe they'll contact me. Remember these pegs. Get a little time capsule. All right, well, now here it is all polished up. Exactly how you saw it yesterday, other than it's got a period correct turbo saddle on it now. The other one was kind of trashed. Um, so I think all of this, like now that I've looked closer into this, I don't think anything's been used on the bike, but for some reason the seat and the seat post I think came from a different bike because there are marks here of it going, you know, through a frame. Like I said, the seat, it was a GT padded seat, but it was it's pretty trash. But then you can see like even, I'm going to go ahead and do up close of everything. Yes, it's going to be boring. But to some people it's going to be kind of cool. So this is all period correct. Not the reproduction Tech 77s. You can see these were brake brake levers if you want to start doing like tricks flatland tricks you would push it in and it actually had like a little parking brake like a little locking tab there to lock it into place the odyssey gyro just the old school stuff but let's look at the details and you can see even the levers all right just gonna start top to bottom same thing lever and i'll point out anything that like you know, would be alarming. So I'm gonna show you right now. The bars are, the bars, grips, levers, they're all perfect. You can see the top of this grip right there. I know, minor stuff, but still. If you're looking for a complete time capsule and you're a giant fan of Hoffman BMX, this is the bike. San Quentin, Ron Wilkerson bars. See if I can get close to them. Man, those things are rad. I remember the Hoffman Love Bars. Those were super cool, too. The front head tube. ACS Boas. Now, I haven't done anything, so no cable adjustments, even the pads, they're like kind of loose. It almost seems like maybe a bike shop built this. Like I said, it's out of Springfield, Virginia. I've been trying to do more research on it. The guy I got the bike from, um, you know, I reached out to him again, but you know people are. Once they sell something, it's kind of gone. The Peregrine high flange sealed hubs made by... Suzu or Suzy, however you pronounce it, the 48 spoke, and then to the Araya 7X chrome rim. Can you see that? 
But they're flawless. No chrome pitting, nothing like that. See the forks, the dropouts. I have not disassembled this bike. So the wheels have not come off. Oh yeah, let's just go ahead and go to the top tube. Now you can polish it more because I know you BMX guys know about this. Gets that little spotting that can come out with some good chrome polish. But I mean, I think we're just being picky now. It's the platform, the GT double seat post collar. Look how red. Okay, back down to the decals. You can even see the original Hoffman Made in USA 4130. American flag has also this super cool Kevin Jones style psychedelic hippie decals. Now the decals, you know, you can, I mean, they're old, obviously. These, nothing, I haven't done anything to this. I, the guy, you know, this is a complete barn find. I've been doing BMX my whole life. And like I said, you know, I'm a, I'm a s and M guy. That's what I was into. I went out there for that Holmes and that dirt bike. I couldn't get it. And I'm not going to hoard these bikes. I don't hold on to them, but if somebody's looking to get into collecting, probably the most mint 93 Hoffman Big Daddy out there. This is going to be the one. Here's the cranks. Pro neck, USA made. 44 tooth. GT. I don't think the cranks have ever been ridden on either. Yep. And over here, you'll see the 175 millimeter. And it should say USA right there. Okay. Oh, also, remember the tires? We talked about that yesterday. I mean, I shined them up for the video. Still have the nipples on them, and they're completely soft. I didn't see any dryness or anything like that. Just like if you were to buy tires now. The Peregrine HP 48s made in Japan. Chrome rims. Original decals. Coaster hub. Can you see that? Let's see if we can get it in there. Pegs, it's about as clean as the pegs are going to get. This, they weren't the best chroming jobs back then, but I actually see a little rash on the end of this one. I mean, thankfully this frame is in good shape because when I got it, it was just, it was in a barn. You know, it was in a shed. And I'm sure the guy I got it from, well, you know, he didn't know. He's not going to be, like, taking care of it like we do with our BMX bikes, carefully placing them in the back of a carpeted SUV. No. But thankfully, everything, even the bar ends, it's clean. The levers, you know, where they always get nicked up, it's clean. Okay, so, and you can see there, the cool cigarette box, chain stay. If it wants to zoom in. I'm going to flip it around so you can see the other side now. I think we've seen enough of this side, right? Or the whole bike. Okay, I'm flipping it around. All right. And here is the other side. The non-drive side. coaster tab for all you flatlanders out there <laughs> left crank arm minty yeah that's nice okay and the only imperfection that I can see up close after detailing it do you see the top of this fork Those are little nicks. 
Not like the Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it was like that, you know. Could have been. This could have been like a hung in a bike store bike is kind of what I was thinking because everything was done really well. Here's the GT logos on the tires. The famous wings. And the other one. Oh yeah, let's show you the stem. Somewhat. DK Freestyle stem. See the rounded. And let's show you the top tube. Yeah, very cool. And the other grip. That should do it. Glad we were able to save it. And we're out.